Wondering what's in the sky in October? We have the answer. The weather is cooling down, the leaves are changing, and the nights are getting longer. Candy and costumes aren't the only things that are great about spooky season. There are also some fascinating night sky objects to view. Let's get into it. The Orionids meteor shower will peak on the evening of the 22nd into the early morning hours of the 23rd. Fun fact, the Orionids come from debris left behind by Halley's Comet. The Southern Taurids will peak next month on November 3rd, but they will be active from October 14th to November 27th. The Northern Taurids will also peak next month on the 3rd, but they will be active from October 13th all the way until December 1st. Mercury is now beginning to appear in the western sky at sunset. This month alone, it will travel through three different constellations. Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. With the Saturn opposition behind us, the ringed planet is rising earlier and earlier in the nighttime sky, rising just before the sun sets. Look for it in the constellation of Pisces. Jupiter is slowly making its way to the evening skies, rising earlier and earlier as it heads towards its January opposition. It currently sits in the constellation Gemini, which rises around midnight this time of year. Venus is still lighting up the pre-dawn skies, appearing just before sunrise. Taurus the Bull, which contains the bright star Aldebaran, is coming into view. Aldebaran is often seen as the Eye of the Bull. It is the 14th brightest star in the night sky. Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, and Capricorn are all visible in the evening this month. The full moon falls on October 26th, and the new moon falls on October 21st. Now for some news updates. Grand Canyon astronomer in residence Laura May Avron's programs continue this month with a full moon gathering on October 6th, constellation talks, and more. On October 30th, join authors Anne Finger and Amy Monaghan in a literary reading of their residency-inspired creative reinterpretations. From now until November 6th, you can see Grand Canyon artist in residence Danny Kwan's art exhibition, Strata, Weaving Earth's Story, at Northern Arizona University's Beasley Gallery. For a full calendar of Grand Canyon events, visit grandcanyon.org slash events. Lowell Observatory's World's Revealed Speaker Series continues this month with a lineup of out-of-this-world presenters, including New Horizons Principal Investigator Alan Stern, Cincinnati Observatory Astronomer Dr. Wes Ryle, JPL Chief Engineer for Missions, Operations, and Science, Dr. Mark Raymond, and more. For a full calendar of Lowell events, visit lowell.edu slash events. That's all for now. I'm Dr. Tyler Ritchie Owl, an astronomer here at Lowell Observatory, and this has been the Arizona Night Sky Report, presented in collaboration with Grand Canyon Conservancy. We'll see you next time.